And now to your top story. It's like they say, when it rains, it pours. The Chetwin Chamber of Commerce was the recipient of the Northern Development Grant, grant worth $250,000 $250, will be used for a new community information building. Well, sort of. Tanya Richter and Charla Nelson have more. We just recently got our approved for the Northern Development Grant, and we were approved for $250,000. And for us, that means that the Chetwin Visitor Center is moving up to the old municipal building once their new one is uh, built. For the visitors um, who come through Chetwin, it will improve, we'll have more space for visitors. We'll have more space for brochures to bring in more brochures um, of BC, Northern BC, Alberta. Um, more retail space, so because we take consignments, so we can bring in more local consignments as well as Northern BC products. It's been a year in the works. We started talking probably about a year ago about partnering with the District of Chetwind and possibly if they got approved to build a new building that we would possibly take over their building. So we've been talking about for about a year. The uh, application process is about five, six months. So um, it was nice to find out just today that we've been approved. Oh, I'm so excited. We're at 1,500 square feet right now and we're going to 2,600 square feet. And it's not only just the square footage, we're all going to have our own very own office. We have a huge storage area. Right now we actually have to go down to the public works area where we have storage locked up. So we're constantly running back and forth for seasonal stuff and we do a lot of events. So we're hauling stuff and then it's actually stored in the middle of our uh, retail space right now. So it's nice. We're going to have our own storage area. And again, like Charla said, the retail area is going to be massive. Okay, so throughout the summer we see close to average of 6,000. Um, visitors from the United States, all over BC, mostly heading up to Alaska. Um, during the winter months, it's a lot slower for the visitor center part, um, but helping the Chamber of Commerce with events and stuff. So we do see people, we get probably a thousand to fifteen hundred throughout the winter months. I know if all goes planned with um, the frost in the winter, that the district is planning on breaking ground this spring, which would be really nice, maybe going into summer. It's going to take a good year for the district to get their building built. So I'm thinking that's early summer next year, which will bring us into the busy part of our months. So I'm thinking once they move out, we're looking at maybe probably six to eight months of renovations on our building up there. And then hopefully the fall of 2015, spring of 16. And I think it's going to be closer to 16, spring of 16. The chamber is planning on moving into the old municipal building post renovations in the spring of 2016.